Dell of Haiti it was entrepreneurs and we talked a lot about entrepreneurship as an opportunity for young people and a way of increasing the impact that La Francophonie can have in our countries but also around the world we have taken four stages to develop this entrepreneurship first. We must create an equality teaching of French and in French we know that everywhere around the world we are facing teaching shortages particularly in French and therefore being able to work together to enhance to identify to map even the needs and teaching resources Canada will participate in that so it's a question of knowing that all young people everywhere in La Francophonie is the basis and the blah 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 tools entrepreneurship through their school career. Therefore elements of training the tools that will be able to have integration experiences in companies to learn in a direct mentoring could also develop for them and from access to the resources necessary to create to innovate to develop solutions. Be it scientific resources of resources such as laboratories or research resources to different technologies digital tools we need to ensure that young people may develop the solutions we have needed in the years to come third we have talked about values francophonie when we want to see entrepreneurship entrepreneurship and powerful because it is innovative by its nature its problem resolutions seeks to fill a gap that exists with solutions which therefore do not exist of the Values of ecology from turning to values of gender equality of inclusion of corporate values. With social purpose of involvement to create opportunities this is values that are still the francophonie that can be conveyed in an extremely powerful way by entrepreneurship then to use the francophonie network as a multiplier of the impact of these young entrepreneurs whether it is access to investments and the capital that one could share between us whether it is access to the partnership that exists through the francophonie access to institutions whether private or educational government institutions have a lot of institutions in your arrangement to be there to be there for young people and finally access to the market through the franco la francophonie there are six tools for entrepreneurship the entrepreneurship of our young People since especially so many of us have very young countries with a lot of young people are that who will transform the French-speaking world and the whole world so investing in the entrepreneurship of young people that is what inspired us to Jerry Claudel thank you for your leadership thank you for your conversation thank you all. Ever dive into a conversation about like supporting young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. on a global scale. Yeah. We're talking shared language, huge ambitions, all within the Francophony. The Francophony. I love it. Okay, so think of it as this massive network, right? Right. French-speaking people, French-speaking nations. Huge, yeah. All interconnected. And they're collaborating, innovating, but for this deep dive. Yeah. It's all about how they want to foster the next generation of business leaders. I love it. Yeah. I mean, so many French speaking nations are really well positioned for this, too. Absolutely. And this source goes deep on how they want to do it, mm -hmm. highlighting this really fascinating conversation about. Oh, yeah. I read about that. Yeah. About youth entrepreneurship. And they had some big players involved, like an agency from Morocco, even Claudel from Haiti. This, this is fantastic. This is serious stuff. And it makes sense, right? Many of these nations, especially in Africa, their populations are incredibly young. Yeah. Like we're talking massive potential, a wellspring of energy and new ideas. It's like investing in a gold mine, but of talent. Exactly. And speaking of investments, the source lays out this four stage approach to cultivate that entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, I like it. Yeah. And it all starts with quality French education. Of course. Got to lay the groundwork. Yeah. You can't just jump right to the business part. Right. Exactly. And they don't shy away from the challenges either. Like teacher shortages, a big one. Oh, absolutely. Particularly when we're talking French language education. Right. So they're tackling it head on. Yeah. Figuring out where are the needs? How can we get resources where they need to be? So strategic. Exactly. Okay. So strong foundation, check. 
But then they go a step further. Okay. It's not just traditional education. It's weaving entrepreneurship into the entire experience. Oh, that I like. It's not just a one-off workshop or something. Exactly. This is about giving them practical skills, mentorship, actual business experience. Imagine graduating with not just a degree, but knowing how to build something from scratch. It's giving them the tools and the confidence to create jobs, not just fill them. Okay, but this next part, I think this is going to resonate with you. Values-driven entrepreneurship. Ah, uh, now we're talking. This is huge, and not just in the francophony. This is a global shift. Young entrepreneurs today, they want their work to mean something. Oh, yeah? We're talking sustainability, building businesses that respect our planet. Right. Gender equality, equal opportunities for everyone, and a social purpose, using business to tackle social challenges head on. Triple bottom line, people, planet, and profit. I love it. And the source is really emphasizing this. Okay, final stage is where this global network mm -hmm. really comes into play. They're going to be leveraging the francophony itself. The possibilities are, it's huge. Imagine access to investment capital, partnerships with people who share your vision, yeah. support from institutions, both public and private, and the market reach. Huge. Yeah. Something takes off in one French-speaking country, that could resonate across the whole francophony. It's a gold mine. That's amazing. The report calls these the six tools of entrepreneurship. And they're not afraid to make some bold claims. Like, this could transform not just the French-speaking world, but the entire world. It's ambitious, definitely. And there will be challenges, of course. Right. Navigating different regulations, cultural differences. But the potential is massive. Yeah. It really makes you wonder if this could be a model for other global communities. That support system, the shared values, that global network amplifying it all. I love that. I mean, this source really goes deep on the what and the how. Absolutely. All the strategies, the structures. But what about the who? What kind of ingenuity, what solutions are these young minds coming up with right now? Yeah. That's what I want to know. What perspectives are they bringing that we might be missing? Exactly. That's something to watch.